When you're working with resin and wood, it is really hard to get a chamfer and keep a chamfer. So it all starts with making the chamfered edge. And I'm just using a basic chamfer bit. I will link everything that I use down in the description. And I am using my Festool router. You do not need to use this router. Um, usually I use my Triton, but this bit doesn't fit in any of the palm routers that I own. So I am unsure if it would fit in any of them, but I have two and this one is just too wide. It won't fit in any of them. So I do have to use a bigger router for this. Um, after that, I use this guy right here. And this is an attachment that goes on to the Festool. And it allows you to get perfect 45 degree angles. This is life. This is the secret <laughs> behind a perfect chamfered edge. And perfect 90 degree edges as well. Because it actually drops down into the 90 degree slot. So I think it goes 45, 60, 75, and then 90 or something like that. It's got four different um, measurements that it goes to. And this thing is a game changer. So all you do is just make sure that it's riding flat on the top of your piece. And for that, you're going to make sure that you have a flat top. If you don't know how to flatten wood or your river table or your epoxy table, whatever it is that you're doing, I'm going to link that video up in the top of this video and you can go over there and watch that. I am going to make an updated uh, video because my processes haven't changed for doing it, but my video skills have a little bit. So um, I don't think it would hurt to make an updated video. All right. So you're just going to ride this all the way over and as you can see, I'm not going too far over the edge, but I am making sure that I do a little bit of overhang with the sander. Do you see? So as you're sanding and doing all of this, make sure that you wipe your sandpaper down and you can do that with the, that it kind of looks like a rubber eraser. So I use 91% isopropyl alcohol. I buy it by the case off Amazon. Like I said, I'm gonna link everything down in the description below. You can never have enough 91% isopropyl alcohol if you work with resin. So wipe your piece down throughout the whole sanding process. Clean your sandpaper. I'll link the sandpaper cleaner down below. And yeah, <laughs> say hi to Sadie, there she is. All right, so this piece is actually getting an epoxy finish. So I'm gonna show you the finished edge right after I do this seal coat. And if you are wondering how to do a finish, an epoxy finish, I will link that video up top as well. This is actually very, very easy. This is the first seal coat and they never look perfect as you keep going to the second and sometimes third seal coat and then the flood coat. That is where the perfection comes in. And I, like I said, I have a video about that as well. It's really easy once you get the basics down. All right, so this is what we have. This edge right here is so clean, it's so perfect. This is a wedding preservation piece. So this is the bride's bouquet. Like, share, follow.